Hello and welcome to Ruckasaurus Rex, the channel where we discuss all things dinosaur and other prehistoric animals. Today we're going to be reviewing a model from Rebor. You see it right in front of you. It is Smilodon Populator and it's uh, titled, Rebor likes to give its uh, models uh, names or titles actually and uh, this is known as Stray Cat and this is the plain version. Rebor put out uh, initially three different versions and then it put out a uh, an exclusive version for uh, Big Bad Toy Store and I believe they put out another version with a different color scheme. This is considered plain. Now I'm unsure as to what they mean by that. I don't think they actually mean it's just a plain color scheme. I think maybe they're referring to that this color is supposed to signify that the uh, cat hunted in planes. Looking brown and stuff, that makes sense. It would blend in in planes and stuff. Its scale is uh, 111, uh, it's 111 uh, plus one. So uh, I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, it's at a 111 scale. So. Uh, yeah, it is that. Now, as far as uh, Populator is concerned, there are three different species of Smilodon. Uh, you've got Gracilis, Fatalis, and Populator. Gracilis was the smallest, and uh, Populator uh, is the largest. This sucker was big. It, it could get up to about uh, 960, 980, hell, just rounded off, say about 1,000 pounds. So it was a big boy, whereas Gracilis... The smallest uh, could get up to about 220, so they were pretty small. I know I've seen uh, skeletons of uh, Gracilis before uh, in the Natural History Museum, in um, the American Museum of Natural History in New York. I've seen a uh, skeleton of Smilodon, and going by the size, it was uh, Gracilis. I, I've yet to see a populator. I know I want to uh, see one of those because I know it'll be impressive. Uh, Smilodon, also referred to as, uh, they're known as uh, their saber-toothed cats. That's, uh, you know, the whole uh, family of them, they're saber-toothed cats. They were referred to as saber-toothed tigers, even though they're not even closely related to tigers at all. They were from a uh, subgenre called, um, subgenus, called uh, Macarodonts. And, um, they were uh, built, um, especially Populator, built a whole lot more husky than any cat we know today, including lions and tigers. So, uh, yeah, they were, like I said, they were some big boys. They, uh, they especially were, uh, their forelimbs were especially developed. They were, uh, uh, their forelimbs were larger than their hind limbs. And uh, they were they were built for strength, not speed. So they were definitely ambush predators. They were not chasing anything. You know, it was thought that they would uh, ambush their prey, their strength, especially in their forelimbs, would hold it down, and they would begin biting. Now, the, the, the controversy with saber-toothed cats is uh, exactly how did they bite, you know, if you, uh, especially when you think about Populator. Populator uh, hunted big game, big prey. So as strong as it was, even when it's holding it down and it starts to bite, you know, whatever it is that it was holding down had to be thrashing. You know, it's obvious that saber tooth cats did not uh, kill their prey the way uh, the typical big cat that we know of today does it, i.e. get them down, bring them down and then choke them to death by uh, biting on their uh, throats, their windpipes that, you know, that's how they normally kill. They don't do all the slashing and cutting and all that, but it's obvious that saber tooth cats couldn't kill their prey that way. They had to, they had to kill them a piece at a time by cutting them. The issue, though, is uh, think about it: if a saber tooth cat bit into something and it's thrashing, it's moving its head along, so that's really deadly to the cat. I'm sure it's got, uh, you know, it had strong neck muscles to try to uh, uh, mitigate that to some degree. But then, what about the teeth themselves? You know, I'm sure that they had to have lost uh, um, some saber teeth from all the thrashing and uh, their other teeth were uh, were kind of uh, fragile on top of that. So, you know, it's real mystery on how they actually killed their prey. 
it's really unclear uh, if they genuinely just like stabbed them but you know nature always has a purpose so those teeth had to been used for something um, it just uh, you know it still remains unknown to uh, scientists today Smilodon lived um, about two and a half million years ago all the way up to 10,000 years ago so uh, that's crazy they lived in the Americas both North and South America so yeah that's just crazy so uh, that's uh, yeah that's a little bit on the uh, on on Smilodon right there so time to get into the model itself you see the packaging right there and once again um, this is uh, the plain version you look to the back there's nothing else on um, the rest of the box my box wants to open up there on the rest of the box and there it is right there you see the um, versions that uh, came out you've got stray cat the plain one which we're going to review you've got the ice age which is also I mean that's the ice age version is just crazy banging the BBTS exclusive, which you see in the lower right, you see what color that was. I wasn't impressed with that color. It looked too uh, unnatural and too unrealistic. And then that new one I told you about, uh, which they did not have at the time, but they knew they would come out with it, is Jungle. Jungle has been released, and it uh, it looks pretty good. I can't front on that. It looks pretty good. So, uh, turning back to the front, looking at uh, Stray Cat before we take them out of the packaging, which we're going to do momentarily. So here we have our stray cat out of packaging and uh, looking very, very impressive. Uh, he's too big. The reason I didn't lead off with uh, him on the uh, rotating platter, he's just too big for my rotating platter. I'm going to have to uh, invest in a larger one to accommodate larger models. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, think about that in the future, just so we can get the uh, the 360 degree view. But for now, we're just going to have to uh, look at uh, look at our cat the old fashioned way. And uh, looking at him, like I said, highly impressive. Try to get a profile view of him. You can see all of this saber tooth cat in its glory, smile Don. Uh, I mean just looking at him big chunky big chunky beast like I said these cats were built for strength and power not speed at all you see nothing fast on this critter whatsoever um, another um, little known fact about uh, Makara Dance is that uh, unlike modern cats both the house cat all the way up to the tiger saber tooth cats could not retract their claws their claws stayed out all the time um it's not really being ref oh actually it is i'm looking now i was about to say it's not being reflected in the in the uh, hind claws but it is they're showing it that the claws are out um yeah they could not retract their claws unlike modern cats uh as you can see uh our smilodon is uh sporting the um uh, closed mouth look but uh, never fret because Rebor included another head with the open mouth. So you see how cool that looks, right? And we're gonna look in that mouth close up uh, once we uh, get through looking at uh, the cat himself. So as you can see, uh, this is called the plane. I think it means for planes as in wild planes going just by the uh, brown palette, the coat, and it's got some striping. A lot of illustrations of uh, Smilodon has them with stripes, uh, some more pronounced than this. This right here is, uh, believe it or not, this is subtle compared to a lot of other uh, illustrations and pictures of Smilodon. But more, more times than not, uh, artists, paleo artists, they draw Smilodon like it was a tiger. You know, because we're used to calling it saber tooth tiger, and like I said, they weren't even closely related to tigers or any modern cats, uh, for that matter. Um, you can just look and see. I mean, just looking at the tail too, you notice that they have uh, short tails. Modern cats have long tails, and um, prehistoric cats also had long tails. You know, there was uh, a North American lion 
believe it or not. Um, they're extinct um, for our sake, thankfully. Um, and they had long tails too. And they had, uh, they also had manes, but nowhere near as pronounced as the modern lion, uh, African lion. But um, enough about them. Let's talk about Stray Cat. Turn him, get him uh, turned around to see him on his other side there. And uh, you can see he's looking, uh, looking real good. You see all of the textures, the fur, the striping. And uh, we're going to uh, get him a little close up. Hopefully, I'll stay in focus. And uh, in fact, what I'll do is I'm going to zoom. I'm going to zoom in so we can uh, see this guy uh, uh, in detail properly. All right, so we're close up and we're looking at the head so we can see more of that detail. You look at the teeth, we're gonna just go right for the teeth because that's the, of course, uh, highlight of a saber-toothed cat are those canines. And uh, you see that they're, um, they're, uh, they're colored in a, uh, uh, like, you know, they look like they've been used, you know, they're kind of yellowish, ivory color uh, in terms of tooth ivory color. And uh, the paint job is great. Look at that, um, the eye and uh, the fur, how um, when it gets, when it's around the lips and the snout there, how the fur has uh, lightened up. It's kind of white, almost as though this cat uh, has got some age to it. Looking pretty good. Turning it so you can get a, a front view right there. I tell you, this, this, this is an excellent model. Uh, looking at him from the front, look at those eyes. You see the the white uh, fur underneath the eyes, and you see the uh, the uh, light fur in, in the interior above the eyes, going right there. And then once again, talking about those teeth, very uh, detailed, and we'll see exactly how detailed when we look at that uh, open mouth one. Going across the sides there, looking at the. Uh, the fur, you see that nice texture. I'm look. It looks so realistic. And then uh, Rebor did an excellent job with that striping. And uh, look at the uh, on the uh, forelimbs there. You see how the striping goes down. And then they made sure they had tufts of fur going out there on the back of the of the leg, and it uh, lightens up. So yeah, pretty great attention to detail. Looking at the toes, you see the claws are um, extended, as I stated. Oh, I'm about to lose it. There we go. Let's see if I get back there, get back in focus there. There we go. I had to step it up so we can get it back in focus. You know, you know we're doing this. Uh, we're not trying to be perfect, so uh, you bear with. This is, you know, this is real. Looking on the underbelly, you see the uh, the fur continues this light. His underbelly is light, and uh, I call him he because if you look in the back there, you can see what he's packing. <laughs> so you know this is a he. In case anybody was saying why you keep referring to it as he, because it definitely is he. The hind legs they're shorter than the uh, the fore legs, as I stated before. And uh, you can see that detail with the fur. Looking at the toes, once again, the uh, claws are uh, extended. You see, since he's pushing off of his right rear leg, you've got the stretchies there, the stretching skin. You got the tail going down and it's got some tufts of white. Yeah, I, I honestly believe this is meant to be an older, an older animal and it graying out. I've got still things from uh, when I pulled it out of the packaging. Hmm. Looking at the top, you see the uh, the hump of fur there, and uh, if I raise my camera up some, you see that hump there. This right here is, is supposed to symbolize pure muscle. Like I said, this beast was built for strength, period, and I still have some of this white stuff on mine. I'll get it off when it's time to... Uh, display my boy here look at that so yeah like I said I'm not stopping this just to do all of that you guys uh, go through this in real life when you get your uh, models and figures 
looking at the underside you see all of that uh, white or gray whatever it's supposed to be um, like I said I honestly think that this is supposed to represent an older cat look at down here the uh, the fur also white and uh, yeah this is just a, a beautiful a beautiful model beautiful model I'm gonna step it back there and I'm going to lower him down so you can peep his smiling face momentarily taking a look at the gaping mouth head it has that same detail they managed to uh, make sure that they uh, they they stayed consistent so it's the same cat only with its mouth open and speaking of that mouth here look at the interior look at that nice wet look for the tongue and then looking up at the roof of the mouth look there the realism right there they spared no expense making this animal look very realistic you could see I mean you can almost see the saliva dripping out of this cat's mouth the teeth like I said yellow but you see the detail in the teeth looking very good both the upper and the lowers very good and you see like I say they, they're playing the yellow game with that so you can tell that it's uh, he, he's been through some stuff I'm still maintaining that this is an older cat so pretty nice and how you would go about uh, changing the heads it's quite simple just grab your beast pull and now he's headless oh but no then you just uh, insert the other head push hard as you know as much as you can in an attempt to hide the seam lines as best you can and uh, there you have it we've got a uh, roaring mouth agape smile down populator looking real good and so that's our review of Stray Cat Smilodon Populator the Plains version from Rebor very nice figure and uh, very I'm very happy to have it so uh, in conclude you know what I can't do this to you all we're not done we are not done you know why we're not done that's right <laughs> I got the Ice Age version you heard I kind of sort of hinted at in the beginning I spoke on how nice the Ice Age version is and I had to go on and get that so you see it time to get him out of the packaging here's our boy out of packaging this is the Ice Age version and hopefully you guys can understand why I had to double dip this uh, this uh, color palette is um, for me is um, when I think of Smilodon he was uh, or it since the whole species I'm talking about it was from the Pleistocene epic which um, encompassed the Ice Age so um, when I think of Smilodon I do think of, of it in cold weather uh, situations and environments so this right here totally piqued my curiosity and interest and um, I had to go get it um, I love the Plains version because uh, you know that's what I think of of um, uh, big cats looking like that. But for Smilodon, this is what I normally think of, like there. And uh, it uh, he looks great. We're going to uh, take a closer look at uh, the differences with the with the uh, the paint apps because we know the detail is there. And for the sake of this review, I went on and changed out the heads off camera. Uh, so we can um, concentrate on um, the paint apps uh, of the uh, the animal itself, and of course we'll look take a closer look at the uh, the gaping mouth uh, he uh, head and uh, look at the uh, details in that mouth because there's I mean for the most part it's the same, but there's one glaring difference. With, I'm sure you can already see right now looking at the cat's teeth. You see that these ivories are a lot more ivory. They're they're uh, definitely more white to go along uh, with uh, the whole uh, color of the uh, of the animal turning them uh, profile so you can actually see what I'm talking about there so uh, yeah he uh, definitely uh, has uh, wider teeth this cat goes to his dentist I'm getting a little bit closer so you can see it better and uh, yeah, now looking at the uh, the color palette right there, you can see uh, the gray, the gray and the blacks to uh, kind.
kind of showed us so how it uh, blended in with the snow and the ice from back in the day and uh, you can see how white those teeth are the eyes on uh, this critter you can see that the pupils are blue a beautiful blue it is just awesome the snout you see it has a uh, a uh, kind of brownish red color to it looking real good those eyes are beautiful I'm telling you it's great and then looking along the profile of the beast you see the uh, this uh, version is uh, obviously it's gray and then it uh, it's got black uh, uh, we'll call it spots you know this is this is more spotted whereas the plain version was striped and uh, you can you can see uh, that difference it has the, the same detail looking down there the front you see the spots there on the front of the uh, forelegs and then of course on the back it's got plenty of spots back there going right down to the tail turning our uh, saber tooth our straight cat around looking at that profile looking real good look at the ears there you see even the detail in the ears with the hair the fur I should say is looking great and then you go down and uh, raising up so once again you could see the muscular hump in its back there like I said very powerful animal and uh, just going down you see all the detail of the fur the top there and then turning him to his underside you can see just just wonderful attention to detail wonderful absolutely wonderful absolutely great I'm very happy with these dual purchases now let's take a look at that open mouth head and here we are looking at the open mouth head like I stated before look at those teeth see how white they are turning it to the front that's really the only difference I mean other than the uh, the teeth being white there is no other uh, color differences still has the same attention to detail with the teeth and with the, how wet the mouth looks there's the roof again so uh, yeah and I mean once again I, I know I keep harping on it but those eyes on this critter is they are absolutely beautiful it's just great to see and uh, the eyes are definitely uh, different than uh, on the uh, the plains version I'll bring that head sculpt out so you can see the difference in the eyes and right there you see the difference in the teeth automatically so uh, yes you can't go wrong with uh, either version and you definitely can't go wrong if you if you double dip taking a measurement of our straight cat from uh, tail to snout it measures 10 inches and uh, going from a uh, I'm going to do it up here at the front part to the uh, top of the shoulder it's about uh, four and a quarter inches and to the hump it's just a little over five inches that means that uh, just going from the uh, the 10 inch uh, measurement at the 111 scale uh, this thing was uh, over nine feet long and to the shoulder it was about four and a half feet tall or to the top it was about four feet tall about four and a half feet tall to the home so this was definitely a big boy once again this is Smilodon Populator and uh, this was the largest of the saber tooth cats so in closing I gotta say I'm very happy with uh, these models both versions of it uh, they do have four versions now, including the uh, BBTS exclusive, which I was not crazy about at all. Wasn't interested in that at all. Like I said, the color scheme just looked too unnatural to me. The jungle version looks pretty good. But, um, and the jungle version, if I'm not mistaken, just going off of uh, memory, is uh, patterned after like a jaguar, because jaguars are jungle cats. So I could be wrong about that, but I think. I believe I've seen that before. I believe the uh, Stray Cat uh, Jungle version is patterned almost like it was a Jaguar. Um, so uh, 
yeah, here we have it. The, uh, the attention to detail that Rebor has uh, provided for this model is exceptional. I mean, I'm loving it. And uh, the attention to detail with the mouth, the open mouth, the wet look, the uh, how nice the teeth look, uh, the, uh, the blue eyes on the Ice Age version. Um, you see, I'm still enamored with that. It's just a wonderful model. And um, I'm glad I have both of them. I just need to find uh, some place where I'm going to put them now. I have an idea, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for uh, sticking with me for this review. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, definitely subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers. I am a long way off. Maybe I need to cut it down and have. Let's go for 100 by the end of July and uh, I need you guys to help me with that. Please comment below. Uh, questions, comments, concerns. Uh, if you um, know what color the uh, the jungle version is, what, what, uh, what, what color that is, please put that down there. I'm going to find out after I uh, get off of uh, this review anyway, but um, just for everyone else, if you know, put it down in the comments. And if you want to be notified for the next time I upload a video, uh, hit that bell and uh, such will happen for you. So once again, this is the Smilodon Populator, aka Stray Cat, 111 scale by Rebor. Ice Age version and of course the plain version. Wonderful models. Thank you for uh, sticking with me and uh, take care.